In the last video, we made a very simple uh, start screen with a start button. And in this video, we're going to make another very simple game over screen, which will allow the player to either restart the game or quit if they're done. So we're back in our breakout file. You can see we're still in our uh, start menu scene. So let's go ahead and go to File, New Scene, and we're going to call this one. We're going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to call it Game Over. And notice that it's stored in our Assets folder. I'm going to drag it to our Scenes folder just to keep things nice and organized. Let's go ahead and work on our Game Over scene. Again, I'm not crazy about this background, so let's go to my main camera, change it to Solid Color, and then just change the color to, I don't know, how about a nice pinkish color. And as I always say, please make this look a lot better than mine does. I am not a great graphic designer. So we need to add some, uh, some conciliatory text. So let's go ahead and add a text object here. We'll call it uh, Game Over. Maybe with a small v. And then we'll say, sorry, you did not win. Would you like to play again? And I'm actually going to put a little line break between there. Take out that space. Okay, sorry, let's go ahead and reset the transform of that so that it's near the center. And let's make the text a little bigger. Let's make it 28. And then I'm going to need to click on my UI tool to change the size of my text box to get all this information in. I'll center it. And then let's go ahead and move it up and over until it looks about right. I'm going to make my text white so that I can change. And actually, I'll, I'll make it. Actually, black probably is good for right there. OK, so there's my. Um, Sorry, you lost text. Now I need to add another text to say if you want to uh, say let's say restart, and I'll call this play again. And again, let's make my restart button. Let's make it thirty-two, so it's really big. Notice it's disappeared because uh, it's outside of the bounds of my box. All I have to do is fix this. Just drag it to make it a little bit bigger. And then let's move it to a good position. Maybe down a little bit more. OK, I'm going to make the text white on this so I can do the uh, mouse over. OK. And then I'm going to add one more button for if the user wants to quit. And they say they've played it. 10 or 12 times in a row, and they're just done. So let's call this quit. And I'll make the text quit as well. And again, let's make it 32. So it's the same size as my restart. And adjust the size so it's close to the size of the button. And then move it down below my restart. There we go, it's close enough. And I'll make the color white. Okay, great. So now we've got my restart button, and my quit button. And just like we did in scene one, we need a level manager to deal with it. But it seems kind of silly to actually create a new level manager game object and a new level manager script and then type the same uh, code over again. Well, that's the beauty of prefabs. They allow us to reuse those objects over and over again. So I'm going to save my game over um, scene. And I'm going to go back to scenes. And I'm going, whoops, sorry, I'm going to go here. I'm going to open up my start menu scene just by double clicking on it. And I have my level manager object down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that up to my prefabs folder to make it a prefab. Notice how it, it changes to a blue color to indicate it's, it's a prefab. I'm going to save that. And let's go back to my game over scene. Now I can go to my prefabs folder 
And you can see my level manager is a prefab. If I click on it, it has the script attached to it. I can just drag that to my scene here. And let me sure I reset the transform so it's at zero, zero, zero. And now I can use that same script again. So if I go to my restart button, let's go to my canvas, my play again button. I'm going to add a component. I'm going to make it a button by going to UI and then button. I could do the highlighted color. I'll just do it to be, I don't know, like a blue, just so we can see that it's working. And then on my on click, I'll add an event. I'll click this button to make sure I choose scene. And you can see there's my level manager prefab. I'll select it and close it. And then I'll go to level manager and click on start game. Let's just check to make sure that that part of it works. So let me click play. And again, I'm just playing the scene. So notice the color changes. If I click restart, it goes right back to my game. So that, that restart button works perfectly. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's add the functionality for the quit button and then we'll check to see if it works in a few minutes. So in order to quit, I actually need to edit my level manager script. So I'm going to make sure I do that on the prefab version of my level manager. So I click on the prefab, choose this, my gear menu, and edit script. It's going to open Mono Develop. And you can see I have my public void start game. Well, let's go ahead and add public void quit game. Oops, wrong bracket. And in this case, I'm just going to call application.quit. And that's it. That's the only function I need to do my quit. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back to Unity. And then for my, my quit button, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to add a button component to that. So go to UI, button. I'll make the highlighted color also kind of a bluish color. My on click, I'll repeat the same thing. I'll add my level manager game object from the scene menu. And now if I go to level manager, you can see not only do I have my start game, I have my quit game. So I'll choose that as the method to be run when I click the quit game button. Now nothing's going to happen when I click it um, because it doesn't really exit the game thing. But when we build it, we'll see that that works. And speaking of building, let me go ahead and add my, I'm going to save my game over. And then I'm going to add it to my build settings. So I'm going to click on my build settings, click on scenes, and I'm going to add my game over scene to the end here. Okay. Now that I have that done, we need to edit our level one. So let's go ahead and double click on level one to enter that. Remember our game manager, the way it calls the end of a game is it just has the game over text pop up. Well, we actually want to change it so that when the game is over, it loads our next scene. So let's go ahead and go to Game Manager. Let's go to the script. Let's edit that script. Okay, so in the check game over, we're not going to worry about who won at this point, but if lives are less than one, that's when the game is over. We don't want to sit at active to true. I'm just going to go ahead and comment each of these lines out. And instead of doing that, we're going to do our scene manager dot load scene. And we're going to load the scene called game over. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go back to unity. Let's run this check to see if it works. Okay, let me go ahead and very quickly lose here. There's one life lost. Two lives lost. And of course I hit it when I didn't want to. And it goes back to my game over menu. If I click restart, it goes back to that. So those that is all working perfectly. In order to test that our quick game function is working, 
we actually need to build and run the game. So I'm going to go ahead and do build and run. Remember, I've already added the game over scene um, to my build settings. I'll call this uh, test quit. I'll leave it right in breakout, though I should create a builds folder at some point to put that in. But again, I'm just doing it for testing purposes right now. I'm just going to choose my resolution, hit play. And I've got my start button. Let's go ahead and lose this really quickly. There's one, two, and it goes. We know that restart works. If I hit quit, we know that quit works as well. And I'm back and everything worked. So you notice that we didn't comment out the U1 message. Um, you should be able to create a U1 screen and go to that screen when you're when you're win and then restart or quit if you want uh, I'll leave that to you as an exercise to build that in so again in this video we created a very simple game over screen and we now have a start screen a game and a game over screen and again your your next task is to create a you uh, one screen or level on your own in the next video we'll look at actually creating different levels of breakout so it's more than just the one